What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to prove if two triangles are congruent using the side angle side theorem, all right? So first of all, let's just make sure we understand what the side angle side theorem is, all right? So it just says if you have two triangles, uh, yeah, that looks close enough, and you have two sides that are congruent, all right? So let's say this side is congruent and this side is congruent and the angle in between them, all right, it's very important, very key, the angle in between them, so that would be this angle right here. So if you have two sides that are congruent and the angle in between them is also congruent, then the two triangles are congruent. And remember, congruent just means that they're the same, they're, they're the exact same, okay? Now, one thing I wanna make clear is, let's say we moved the angle, all right? Let's say we moved the angle up here instead, all right? Now, could we say that these two triangles are congruent using side angle side? In this case, we can't, right? Because this angle right here is not in between the two sides that it gives us, okay? Because the this side right here and this side right here, you can see that they both meet right here, okay? So that's why the angle should be here. And it's also in the name, right? It goes side angle side, okay? So that's how it has to be on the triangle. It has to go side angle side side okay in the other case this goes angle right side side right that's angle side side and that spells ass and unfortunately we cannot prove that two triangles are congruent using ass okay so just keep that in mind uh can't use this one that one doesn't work unfortunately but this one up here s a s sas side angle side does, all right? So let's run through a few examples and see if we can prove that two triangles are congruent using side angle side, all right? So let's start with this one, uh, number nine, I guess. Triangle ABD and triangle CDD, all right? So are these two triangles right here congruent? Well, first of all, we can only see that one side is congruent, right? This one and this one, okay? But the thing is, this side right here, the side that both of the triangles share or that they have in common is congruent to itself, right? This side right here. Okay, so do we have side angle side here? No, we don't, right? Because uh, just looking at this top triangle right here, this one up here, we have a side, a side, and then this angle that it gives us is not in between the two angles, right? So in this case, what we have is angle side side, right? Angle side side, and again, that doesn't work right? If the angle was over here, then this would totally work, right? Because then we would have side, angle, side, like that. So that would work, right? Okay, so this one, uh, number nine, we cannot prove that these two triangles are congruent using side, angle, side, all right? What about number 10 over here? So triangle LMN and triangle NQP, all right? So LMN and NQP, all right? So here we can see that we have this side is congruent to this side, this side is congruent to this side, and we also have an angle in between the two sides, right? It just happens to be a right angle, a 90 degree angle, okay? But in either case, we have side, angle, side, right? Side, angle, side. So for this one, we can say these two triangles are definitely congruent using side, angle, side. All right, now here, number 11. Uh, can we say that these two triangles are congruent? Well, first of all, it gives us one side that's congruent, right? So it says that this side is congruent to this side. But as you can see, we again have a shared side right here, right? Both of the triangles have this side in common. So this side right here is congruent to itself, okay? So we have two sides now, right? So we have this one and we have this one. And we also have this angle right here, right? This 90 degree angle or right angle. So since we know that these two lines right here, this one, and this one forms a right angle, that means this angle over here is also a right angle, right? So on this triangle, you can see we have side, angle, side, right? But on this triangle, we don't, right? On this triangle, we have a side, we have a side, and we have an angle. So again, this is angle, side, side, and we know that doesn't work. Okay, so on this triangle, um, it is side angle side, but this triangle on the right is unfortunately ass, okay? So these triangles are not congruent, all right? What about number 12 right here? 
So are these two triangles right here congruent? Well, the first thing you, uh, you might notice are these little triangle uh, symbols on these two lines, okay? And these symbols just mean that these two lines right here, this one and this one are parallel. And that's pretty important because whenever you have two parallel lines that are intersected by another line, they create special angles. And in case you're not familiar with those angles, I'll link a video to that in the card above, but I will at least explain this one over here. All right, so let me extend these parallel lines so it makes a little bit more sense, or maybe it's a little easier to see. I don't know, we'll see. So we have our two parallel lines, right? And then they're basically being cut by this line right here, which is called a transversal, right? You can think of it as a transversal. Now, whenever you have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, again, they create special angles. And in this case, the alternate interior angles are congruent, or they are the same, okay? So this angle right here and this angle right here are congruent, okay? So let me clean this up a little bit. So again, this angle right here and this angle right here are congruent simply because we know that these two lines right here are parallel, right? So what else do we know? Well, again, it gives us one side that's congruent, right? It says this side is congruent to this side. But again, this side right here is congruent to itself, right? Because it's a shared side between the two triangles, okay? So as you can see, we have side, angle, side, right? And same thing on this triangle. We have side, angle, side okay so both of these triangles have side angle side in them right so we can definitely say that they are congruent using side angle side so if you found the video helpful definitely leave a thumbs up down below and if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples just let me know in the comment section below